Hello everyone, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming and this is a special request RPG Maker MV tutorial. And in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can recreate the Fafner Knight ability from Itrian Odyssey 2 Untold. So this is a special request, request from Philippe Rod Esber and I'm going to truncate this long message. But basically he's saying, or she, in EO2U the protagonist can transform into the Fafner Knight. In said form, he gains a tremendous boost in all stats and even gains transformation exclusive skills without having to forget his regular skills when not transformed. Of course, his looks changes when in the transformed state, similar to your alter self forms in this video. He's referring to the Final Fantasy VI morph state uh, skill uh, tutorial, which you'll have to watch that basically to catch up to where this video starts. So you might want to go check that out. I'll put a link to it. Um, also, whenever he transforms, the battle background music changes to a kick-ass theme song for the rest of the battle, until, but it stops when the transformation disappears. He then automatically transforms back into his regular form after three turns, and the music goes back to what it was playing before the protagonist transformed. And of course, he can only transform in battle. So I was wondering, is this possible to recreate an MV? I was trying out everything, even trying the Yep battle or Yep base troop events, but the result is either the actor's battle sprite doesn't go back to normal or it doesn't transform in the first place thanks in advance all right philippe rod esper uh, i'm going to show you the way that i found out how to create it uh, first i'm going to illustrate it and then i'm going to show you how to create it so we have our our knight here and we have some spill uh some spells and we have some skills here and so we have the fafnir knight one and you can become the fafnir knight upon casting your third ability it will revert back so the thing about this, I can't figure out how to make it last for only three turns, but I can make it disappear after the third time you use an ability. So because of that, I've reduced the buff to only 10% to all parameters. So you can see that we've gained a state, but it's only giving 10% to all parameters, uh, thus to make it not worth uh, staying in the state the whole time until the end of battle. Plus, I've made the skills rather strong, so you have incentive to use those skills. Now, in a boss battle, you'd probably stay in the state for a little while, but then towards the end of the battle, you might need those uh, those skills to uh, finish the boss off. So if we look now, we've gained a couple more spells, and we've gained some new skills here. So we've got these three new uh, skills, Gigavolt, Stone Cold, and Flash. And if we use any combination of those three times, then we're going to switch back out of the state. The music's going to change, and the weather's going to change. Now, you didn't request the weather to change, but I thought it was a nice little effect. And if you're using Mog's uh, X Weather, then uh, you can get this cool little flashy thing of effect going on. Um, but that's just an optional thing. So after using the third skill, when it comes around uh, uh, to the turn again, you'll, the, the event will play. And now the, the weather's changed back. Um, we've, the, the state has reverted and the music's changed again. Plus, we've lost those extra spells and skills that we've learned uh, that we gained. Plus, you may notice we no longer have the Fafnir Knight state here. Uh, this is the way that I figured out how to get the player from not ha being able to spam it over and over so it's a once per battle thing. So let's go ahead and finish this battle. And I'll show you um, the out of game part, or out of battle part. So you notice we lost the Fafnir, um, the Fafnir ability, but if we check now, we have it again but we can't use it out of battle. So let me show you how you do that. The first thing you want to do is create a parallel process event. And uh, this is going to be on any map that the uh, player is going to be on uh, after he's gained the ability to become the Fafnir Knight. Now if you want uh, your player to not start with the Fafnir Knight and, he's, and once he gets Fafnir Knight he's going to revisit areas where he had once didn't have the skill then all you would do is create a switch in that event when you give him the, the skill for the first time and make a, a conditional branch in this parallel process saying if that switch is on then do this otherwise do nothing so in this case we, he's going to have it from the beginning so um, we have it just like this and make sure you do this parallel process and copy paste it to any map because once you lose the skill in the troop uh, events, if you don't have this parallel process, you won't be able to use the skill again. So I forgot that in the last take of this, uh, trying to record that, this video, so I'm redoing it. Um, so the first thing that you're going to do is make your state. This is going to be your Fafnir boost state. All you're going to do is give it your parameter buffs uh, right here. 
selecting whatever percentage. Now, if you want to give 10%, remember that's you're going to have to multiply that by 110%. So, if you say 10%, you want to that's really actually taking 90% of his HP away. So, uh, all of this says times 110% because we're awarding an extra 10% to these stats. Okay, that's the easy part. Um, you're going to need uh, two two plugins. You're going to need uh, Yanfly's. Uh, where is it at? It's right up in here. Base Troop Events plugin, really cool plugin. Remember to to, watch, to check this value because when you edit the troop event that we're going to be editing, you want to do all of that uh, designing uh, the troop event in this number. So in this case, we're using one. So we're going to be using uh, the battle number one. Uh, the second plugin that you're going to need if you want to replicate it exactly like I did is uh, this one right here, Mog Weather uh, X. And uh, I'll show you, uh, I'll give you a link for that in the description below. So once we've got the plugins installed, we've set up our parallel process that's going to award the skill. Um, we need to go to our common events. You're going to need uh, two state, two pseudo state common events. So if you watch the Morph uh, Final Fantasy VI tutorial, then uh, you'll probably already have these uh, alter self ones. So you can use the alter self neutral as your, your base one. So basically you want to uh, whatever skills you want to award your uh, Fafnir Knight uh, pseudo state, then you're going to need to deduct those here. So in your normal state, uh, I've awarded Gigavolt, Flash, and Stone Cold, and the Fafnir Boost. So remove these three skills, uh, right click, new, change uh, state, uh, select the person who's going to have it, and then state, go to the Fafnir Boost and remove. And then for the skills, you're going to do change skills. Uh, click forget, click the person who's going to learn it, and select all of those skills. And uh, that way, when you exit the state, you don't still have those abilities. So that's the only modifications you're doing to the neutral state. So then you're going to basically create another state that you would normally have, like Alter Self Light or Alter Self Dark. Um, do it the same way, except this time add those special skills that you want. And uh, for the state, you could add it here if you want. I've actually added it in the troop events, but it doesn't really matter because we're going to control a switch. We're adding a switch here. So make a new switch, call it Fafnir Knight Pseudo State or whatever you want. Fafnir will work. And now once we've added that switch, let's go to our troops. Now in the troop events, since we've selected one in the plugin, we're going to be editing one. That way, whatever we do in here is going to uh, uh, proliferate through all of them. Um, so the first thing we're going to be doing is selecting our conditions. So we're saying if that switch is on, the one that we just turned on in, in the Fafnir Knight pseudo state. So if that switch is on, we're going to do the span of battle. So at the very uh, beginning, uh, or any time actually, we'll just do span of battle. The first thing we're doing is saving the current background music. Because we're going to change the background music, but we want it to go back to the one that it was playing. And it might be different at different times, so we're going to have to save that. Uh, to do that, you go to new and you go to tab two and you're gonna see uh, save BGM right here. You select that. And then right in that same spot, you're gonna uh, create a, a play background music and you're gonna select the music that you wanna play when you're in that Fafnir Night state. Then you're gonna control your weather effects here. If you're doing uh, the Mog X weather, then you're going to do a plugin command. Otherwise, you're going to just uh, right click, insert new, and uh, tab two, uh, set weather effects, whatever you want. Then we're going to control the switch. We're going to control, make a new switch, call it Morph Timer or Fafnir Timer or whatever you like, and turn that switch on. Now we're going to add a new event page to this battle event. And now we're going to say if that Morph Timer is on. Uh, so we've turned that switch on, and then if that Morph Timer is on, we're going to go to this page. The span of this page is going to be turned. So now we're going to create a conditional branch inside this, and we're going to insert new. Uh, conditional branch and we're going to create a new variable so this variable we're going to call it morph timer count or fafnir timer or faf count or whatever you want it to be we're going to set that to greater than or equal to three just like that now this number is reflecting the number of times that you can use that bear uh, that you can uh, use your skill uh, because we have to do one more thing I forgot but I'll get to that right now so for this sake of you said three turns uh, I set this to three so in order uh, so basically it's going to be in this super state until we have uh, this variable is greater than three so how do we get that variable greater than three well then we're going to go to our skills and uh, we've awarded uh, three skills on all of the skills that you're going to special skills that you're going to award your Fafnir Knight state pseudo state you're going to have to call on a common event 
So I've chosen uh, Flash, Gigavolt, and uh, one other one. But whatever uh, skills that you give him, you're going to call on a common event, Morph Timer. This is a super easy common event to make. So the Morph Timer is just going to control a variable. All it's going to do is add one to that Morph Timer count variable that we just created. So just insert new, control variables, uh, select our Morph Timer count, and add one. So anytime we use a skill, it's going to add to that variable count. Um, so let's go back to the skills. And to insert that, uh, that uh, common event, you just go to effects, over to other, and then call on that common event that we just created that gives us a variable morph timer count. So once we have our skills uh, uh, set up with our common events, then every time we use a skill, then this variable is going to increase by one. And if this variable is above three, it's going to do all of this. So first thing it's going to do, it's going to replay the background music that we saved. So that's in tab two, right next to all the other music stuff. Then we're going to control our weather effects. So if we use the regular weather, we're going to just set weather effect to none. And we'll set that to one frame. That way it happens instantly. And we don't want to have wait for a completion check. Uh, otherwise, you're going to insert a plugin command for, um, um, what is it, Mogmaster's weather EX plugin. Uh, then we're going to control switches and we're going to turn Fafnir Knight's pseudo state off. That's for this one. Um, that way it doesn't just automatically jump back to here because it's still on and you're just, you, you'll just stay in state and this thing will loop. So you turn this switch off. Then we're going to call on that common event that uh, turns us back to our neutral state. So this is probably the step that you were forgetting uh, and why your, your character wouldn't switch back. So you have to call on the common event that puts you back into your regular state and that changes everything and, and takes away all your special skills. So after we uh, called on that common event, we need to set our morph timer count back to zero. Otherwise, um, when we use the state in the next battle, it'll just, uh, you won't have uh, any action. It'll switch and switch back Im immediately. So we turn our morph, because uh, it'll be already greater than three still because we haven't changed it back. So change your morph timer count back to zero by setting it to zero on a control variable. Now we're going to change skills. We're going to remove Fafnir Knight. Uh, basically, it's a forget skill thing. So we go to change skills, and we're going to forget that Fafnir Knight skill, um, which is just like our neutral, uh, neutral skill. I didn't create that in this one, but I'll show it to you really quickly. This one uh, is the same as the alter self skills that you created in the morph one. So basically, you can copy paste that, rename it, and reflavor it. Uh, make sure this common event, when it calls on the common event, it's calling on this Fafnir Knight one that awards all these states and stuff that we started with. So we've gone in a full circle there. Um, after we've uh, removed that, we're going to turn uh, the switch morph timer off. So we're, we're done with this page. We're turning the switch timer off. So it won't be turned on again until we've called on the common event that turns on a switch that operates this page. These things have ran, and then it goes back again in a full circle. So um, I think that's it. <laughs> Uh, hopefully that wasn't too confusing. If you have any questions, remember to ask me in the comments below and I'll, I'll help you to the best of my ability. Don't forget this uh, par parallel process event that Reed learns the skill after every, uh, after every battle. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate every one of you. Continue to ask your special requests in the, in the comments below and I'll make tutorials uh, to the best of my ability. Um, you guys are great. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next tutorial.